Colin Kaepernick, and my apologies if I'm mispronouncing his name. I don't think I am, but uh, I do not follow sports, and I had no idea who this guy was uh, before this happened. But he refused to stand up for the American uh, uh, national anthem, which actually in the, in the third stanza has the word slave in it. <laughs> but in any case, he, he, he refused to stand um, uh, saying basically, you know, uh, why should I be standing and saluting a country that still has institutionalized racism? He's, he's African-American. And, and, you know, I get that. I support his, his, uh, uh, by the way, the NFL came out and said, you know, we support his right to choose whether to stand or not to stand. It's not mandatory. There's no law about it. This is a custom. And in fact, we didn't even start playing the national anthem at games until World War II. It was part of the, you know, rouse us up, all up for the war effort. And ever since then, it's been this kind of phony patriotism thing. Oh, let's trot some soldiers out and we'll all stand there and applaud them. And you know, it's just, it's getting weird. But what I find interesting is that this happened in Levi Stadium, if I if I have my uh, information correct, if it didn't happen in Levi Stadium, that is the stadium I believe that uh, that the 49ers play out of. And yeah, it was uh, Friday night before the preseason game against the Packers at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Levi Strauss and Company. Uh, I, I forget which year it was, but it was in the neighborhood of 2001, 2002, 2003, right? The early part of the 21st century. Levi Strauss and Company, which has been making a fortune in the United States since, as I recall, 1849. Is that what it says in the pack? Of the, I'd have to pull my jeans off and look at the pack. Actually, I'm not wearing Levi's today, but, but um, uh, you know, since, since the mid-19th century, they've been getting rich off Americans selling their jeans in the United States. And they've been employing Americans, hiring, you know, manufacturing their jeans in the United States. In fact, American-made Levi jeans were so wanted all over the world that when Louise and I lived in Germany and we wanted to visit East Germany and visit East Berlin and visit Russia when they were all communist, one of the cool things that you could take to trade people in exchange for everything from a cab ride to, to a meal, it was a pair of Levi's. You couldn't get them in those countries. And you had to kind of smuggle them in, but you know everybody would say, hey, smuggle them in. But Levi no longer makes those in the United States. They moved, they moved their manufacturing facilities offshore in 2001, two, three, something like that. And if you look at the list of the 27 companies that, uh, uh, that likely hold profits in tax havens, and this is from Citizens for Tax Justice, ctg.org, slash PDF, slash pre, PDF, okay? Fortune 500 companies hold a record $2.4 trillion offshore. They may be avoiding up to $695 billion in U.S. taxes. It's all these companies. And you look at the list, and there on the list, sure enough, Levi Strauss sitting on $100 million unrepatriated, $100 million that they're sitting on offshore, which would represent a tax bill of $27 million that they would really rather not pay, thank you very much. They're going to play the game that Apple plays, that FMC Technologies plays, that Own Corning's plays, that Safeway plays, that Qualcomm plays, that AK Steve Hole. Now, question, just ask yourself, is this patriotic? Which is less patriotic? Refusing to stand for the flag, actually, I would say that is more patriotic than just being a sheeple and, and standing for the, for the, for the uh, national anthem. Because he was making a statement. Making a statement is protected by the First Amendment. Making a political statement is the essence of patriotism in this country. Especially if it's a controversial statement. But not paying your taxes and playing games and shipping your factories overseas, in my opinion, that's the opposite of patriotism. And how is it that there's all this sturm and drang about Colin Kaepernick not, or Kaepernick sitting out the national anthem? And there's no sturm and drang about the fact that it happened in Levi Stadium, a tax dodger. 
Qualcomm, AK Steel Holding, Amgen, Netflix, Advanced Micro Devices, Gilead Sciences. Gilead Sciences, this is a, a pharmaceutical company, they're sitting on $28 billion offshore. Apple, $200 billion offshore. Oracle, Microsoft, Microsoft, $108 billion offshore. Western Digital, $9 billion. Gil Gilead, I read that. Uh, do, 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 do. NetApp, $3 billion. American Express, $9 billion over offshore. Is this patriotism? To, to, to hire a bunch of CPAs to figure out a way to screw American workers and hide your tax, hide your money so you don't have to pay taxes, and yet still do business in the United States, still use our court system to adjudicate your, your you know, to enforce your contracts, still use our copyright laws to protect your copyrights, still use our trademark laws so that it, to, to protect your trademarks. So, so if anybody makes Levi's anywhere in the world and calls them Levi's, you can, you can stop them using our court systems paid for with our tax dollars, yours and mine, not Levi's. They are keeping their money offshore. Bank of America sitting on $18 billion offshore. Clorox, $204 million. Levi Strauss, $100 million. I mean, Levi Strauss is a piker in this universe, but still. Air products and chemicals, $6 billion offshore. Most people don't even know what air, I don't, I have no idea what air products and chemicals is, but I'm assuming it's a chemical company. So they're sitting on $6,361,000,000 million offshore. They're avoiding paying $1,593,000,000 in taxes. It's mind boggling. So what is patriotism? And what kind of phony patriotism I, you know, it's, this is all over the right wing blogosphere, all over the right wing sites. It's like it's like everywhere. Right. These these right wingers say, oh, you know, we are so patriotic and we are so offended that this guy didn't stand up for the national anthem. Really? In a stadium owned by a company that's avoiding paying taxes to the United States where they make their profits. Now, I realize Levi sells all over the world, but, you know, this is. This is a pretty big deal. What is patriotism? This is the Tom Hartman Program. And a corollary question. How is it that conservatives are so easily sucked in by these phony, symbolic, patriotic things and they completely ignore real patriotism? 